semen retention will heal every aspect of your life. If you're a man who has suffered from over sexualization and corn addiction, um, there are a lot of benefits that people speak of. But being that, the phallus is the most important part of the semen retention process. We should speak on the phallus uh, and the results of semen retention and what it has on the phallus. During your semen retention journey, your phallus will heal itself. It will regenerate. You will notice it when you're on flaccid. You will notice when you have a full eration. You will notice when you urinate and you will notice when things brush against your phallus. It'll be more sensitive. But at the same time, not sensitive as far as being tender, but sensitive as far as being powerful. So everything about your phallus becomes more powerful. Um, in a lot of ways, you are sacrificing. And anytime you make a sacrifice, uh, the, the blessings rain down tenfold. Whether it's fasting, whether it's semen retention, whether it's any form of uh, bettering yourself that uh, causes you, that forces you to do a work that is not common to most men. Most men are not going to watch videos like this. Most men are not going to like videos like this. Most men are not going to share videos like this. Most men are not going to think about semen retention. They're going to continue to subscribe to females only fans. They're going to continue to look at naked women on social media and free adults websites. And this is the reason why they have poor phallus health. They suffer from erectile dysfunction and a, a myriad of other uh, penile afflictions. Um, when you practice in semen retention, eating healthy, exercise, things like that, you're basically uh, impervious to the perils of those uh, deficits. Those don't affect you. Erectile dysfunction won't affect you if you're practicing semen retention and exercise. It just won't affect you. You're, you will have perfect penile health unless you got like some kind of under some kind of other uh, underlining uh, health condition. But if you're an able-bodied person, a pretty relatively healthy person, if you're doing what you're supposed to do as far as taking care of your phallus and your testes and your testosterone levels, you won't suffer from those things. It's the guys who lose the sensitivity because they keep beating the brakes off their they manhood. It's guys who lose their health down there. And it's, it's just, you know, unhealthy down there. They don't have no health down there. And they don't care too think about semen retention because they're so captivated by their lust and giving in to their lust. You, my friend, you uh you separate yourself from the 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 the, the, the simps and the suckers and the beta males who only give their energy to uh you know things that destroy kings. But you, my friend, are devoting yourself to bettering yourself, and that's admirable. Keep up the good work and be mindful that the results and the benefits that you are receiving, they can get more abundant if you stay the course. I know you feel good about going your 30 days, going your 60 days, going your year, going how long you're going on a brahmachara uh, journey. But don't get, uh, don't let your head get big. Don't let it go to your head, cause if your head get too big, you can't fit your crown. 